Hi, I'm Suzette Allen. Today we're going to learn how to set your audio levels in your camera. A lot of people these days are filming talking business cards or documentaries and that kind of thing where they need vital audio. So it's imperative that you know how to set the audio levels so you have good quality. What we're using today is a shotgun mic right up above my head. It's a Rode and I have another microphone there too. So the, the camera that you're seeing is hooked up to this microphone, but I have another microphone here that's hooked up to my camera so that I can actually show you what it looks like to monitor the audio. Normally you would just have your microphone over your subject. So even though we're using a shotgun mic today for this test, what we're learning is valid for every kind of microphone. So I don't recommend that you use an in-camera mic, even though all the cameras have them. They're usually good for about three feet and that's about it. I wouldn't film people three feet away. So um, you should probably think about different kinds of mics. So check out my video and I test five different kinds of mics and you can do audio tests at three, five, and 10 feet. It is awesome, you'll learn a lot from that. So today, we're just gonna take a look at the menus and show you how to set the audio levels. So let's take a look at the menus. I'm just gonna press my menu button and then go to the movie menu. I'm in screen one of seven, so I'm gonna scroll down to about screen five. That's where my mic level display is and my mic level adjust. But first, what I need to do is go to the limiter, which is on the next screen, six of seven. The mic level limiter is always on by default and I'm going to turn it off. The reason why I want to turn it off is because it stops the peaking of the uh, audio levels from distorting at the top, but it also gives you a false reading. So you want to turn it off to do the test. Then I'm going to go back to my screen five of seven to the mic level adjust and press on it. And then I can see my gauge. So as you can see, when I talk, it goes into the red. That's not good. That's distortion. So I'm going to take my little um, handle here and go down until my voice peaks into the red occasionally, but you don't want to go two bars, just one bar. So right about there, it's just about right. Occasionally it goes into the red, but only one bar. You're gonna hit set and then you're gonna go back on and turn your limiter back on because it will help you if the person laughs or does something really loud, it's gonna keep it from distorting on that loud point. So that was really easy, right? Well, this is the exact same way that I would do this with the FC-1000. Now, one thing I didn't mention though, is it's a really good idea to have a monitor. So with the GH4, I can plug in headphones right in here to the jack so I can hear what's going on. It's very helpful to hear the background noise. You might hear the air conditioner going on or a plane flying over. It's really helpful. Some people use the headphones. I personally like to interact with my clients, so I will usually just use earbuds and I might take one of them out while I'm talking to my client. Now on an FC-1000 or maybe a GX-8, there is no audio out, so you can't monitor it. But you do have a little gauge on the back of your screen on your monitor where you can see the audio levels and make sure they're registering and not distorting. So it works just fine. Now with the Lumix GX-8, there's just a couple things that are a little bit different. So the standard jack for a mic is three and a half millimeters, but for this camera, you're gonna need this little adapter that will take it from three and a half millimeters to two and a half millimeters. Then you plug it right into this top jack. It's a little bit smaller because it's shared with the remote. So let's check out the menus. I'm just gonna press the menu button and I am going to go to the movie menu and then I'm gonna scroll down to screen four of five. Now my mic level display, that's where I turn it on. You want that on because on your screen, you can see it right there in the lower left corner. It gives you the little gauge. Instead of having the audio monitor with the headphones, you have a visual monitor instead. So let's go back to the menus and we're gonna go down to screen five of five where you have the mic level adjust. Notice there is no limiter. It has an auto limiter in it. So when you open this up, you're gonna take the level all the way down to the bottom. And then if you need to go up, you can. I'm looking at this and seeing my voice just like touch into the red just occasionally. I'm thinking that's probably just about right. If a person has a softer voice, you can crank it up just a little bit. Now this doesn't have the precision of the GH4, but it'll work just fine. 
So that wasn't too hard, was it? Now you're ready to go with your audio levels set properly.